Q&A because we only have, we only have um, uh, 10, 12 minutes left. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, all. Thank you so much, Professor Philip, for your comprehensive presentation. Uh, surely all the participants learn more about your speech. We have some general questions that I want to share with you. The first question is, uh, how can I get started to set a goal? How can I, just say that again, Ada? How can I get started to set a goal? Okay, that's a very good question. Thanks, Ada. Thanks for that. More um, welcome. How you can get started. So I would suggest is a bit like we were looking at the backward, like we looking at backwards goal setting before. Look at what you want to achieve. But first of all, before you want to achieve, before you want to look at that, look at what interests you. What interests you? What do you, what, you know, what are the things that interest you? Because if you start looking at things that don't interest you, then you're, you're going to be finding it's always an uphill battle. You want to be thinking at things that interest you, things that float your boat. You know, what are the things that you're interested in? Is it sports? Is it, is it, um, you know, so focus on what interests you first of all, and that will motivate you. Now, the thing is, you can talk to others to get ideas from others, definitely. Talk to your friends, talk to the college, talk to student support. I think there's a course that you do in college. Isn't there a course you do in college as well about motivation and goal setting? So do the courses available to you. Speak to your friends, family, speak to your parents, speak to your colleagues, get ideas from each other, but focus on something that, yes, I like that. I can, I'm really interested in that. That will how you get started because you need to go with something that you're going to carry on with. Just a very slight dichotomy. I've spoken, I, I've spoken to a lot of people who've done PhDs and what they say is you spend so much time and effort on that, you've got to focus on something you're interested in. I think it's the same with your goal setting. You've got to focus on something that interests you, otherwise you're going to have trouble halfway through. Thank you, Ada. Does that answer that question for you? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, another question, um, Professor Philip, is about that. What advice do you have to help me to keep my goals on track? Excellent question. Thank you, Ada. And that was, I think, a few of the students were asking that at the beginning of the course as well. I would suggest some of the, um, if I can show the slides again, if, I, if, if we go back to uh, where were we? Uh, goal setting tools, didn't we? Yes, thinking about these. Think about these. Think about goal setting journals. Backward, backward goal setting. Get support from others. You know, it's very good. You can have wonderful goals, but if you don't tell people about them, they stay with you. And they might stay in the bottom drawer. You need to talk. I'm not saying you tell everybody, but you need to tell a trusted friend, a mentor, a colleague, uh, a teacher, student support at college. So you need to talk to others. So I think these are great. To keep a goal setting journal like, um, uh, like Jessalyn's doing. Keep a goal setting journal. Try backward goal setting. Get support from others. And the other thing is you can do is these other things. You can use an app if you want to. If you like to use an app, try one of these apps. What you could also do, another thing you could do is speak to people, speak to people around you that you think they seem to be getting things done. They seem to be achieving things. How are they doing it? Learn from others. What are the, what, what tools and, I'm going to not say tricks, what tools and techniques are they using? And what have you used in the past that's worked? So sometimes if we start with something simple, so some people think, okay, I'm, I did some sports. So what? I achieved something. What did you do before that worked? Was it because you had a trainer, you had a coach, you had a manager? So if that worked for you, maybe you can take that to another aspect of your life. Okay, any other, any other questions? Yes, the last question is that, how can I stay motivated on my course? How can I stay motivated on my course? Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent question. Thanks, Ida. I suppose we are, all, more welcome. we are all college students. Okay. So how do you stay motivated on your course? Okay. First of all, one of the secrets is hopefully you've all chosen the course that you're interested in. Like we said before, hopefully you found you, you've, you're doing a course that you're interested in. If you're not interested in all aspects of your course, 
Focus on the things you are interested in. You know, think about what we talked about for, before, the small wins. The small wins. Celebrate your successes, isn't it? Celebrate your successes. Where were we before? Celebrate your wins. Plan and organize your time. So this is how you can do this. And think about how the college can help you. The college is there to help you, if, but they don't know. The student support and the teachers don't know what help you need if you're not asking for it. You need to talk to the college. This is a wonderful college with great, with great professors and great administrators. So you talk to them, talk to the college, and they will help you. Talk to this college. This is a wonderful college. You're achieving amazing results. And your success is our success. So you, you, we want you to be successful. So this is how you can keep motivated in your course. Find the aspects that you're interested in. Find the aspects that you're interested in and focus on those. Yes? Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Um, is there any, before we close, Ada, is there any other questions from anybody else? From any students? Any questions from any other students at all? Yes, I have a question. Yes, please, Jessalyn. Thank you. So you made mention of the fact that when we are setting our goals, it should not be too easy nor too difficult. Yes. Now, my question is, how do you handle the challenges that come alongside with your goal? Um, <laughs> it's a very good question, Jessalyn. How do you how do you handle it? In case you didn't hear what Jessalyn said, she said that um, I said earlier on you don't want your big goals to be too easy. You don't want them to be too hard. So how do you handle the challenges as they come to you? I would suggest handle them with with a smile, <laughs> with enthusiasm. Turn the negatives to a positive. Life is never going to be always straightforward. But be positive. Be positive with what you can achieve. Think about the positives. And again, I'm going to say to you, Jessica, and to all of you, celebrate your successes. See how wonderful you are. I'm going to show you something, Jessica, and this might help you. I'm going to show you something here as well. Can you see on this screen in front of you, can you see the word passive and aggressive? Yes, yes sir. Yes, okay. So I just want to talk for two minutes because I think we've got two minutes. Ada, have we got two minutes to go? Can I do a bit more? Yeah, sure, sure, of course. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, thank you. So I want you to, if, we, if you see on that screen the word passive and aggressive, where do I put on that screen, where do I put the word assertive? Where do I put the word assertive? Assertive? Sorry? So what did you say? The word assertive, what? assertive. Where do I put the word assertive on that screen? Maybe in the middle? What do you mean, like in, in the middle, like on this line between passive and aggressive? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll ask the question again, not just for you, Jessen, for all of you. Where on this screen do I put the word assertive? Yes. I'll show you. It goes at the top. top. It goes at the top. Thank you. You just got there in time. It's not, okay, it's not on the same plane. What we're talking about here is aggressive and passive are natural instinctive behaviors. Assertive is a learned behavior. We can learn to be, which is good news because we can learn to be more assertive. Why is this relevant? Why is this relevant? In communication, ladies and gentlemen, we need to be assertive. We need to talk to others. In your goal setting, in your motivation, in keeping yourself on track, you need to talk to others. So you need to be assertive. Words that are associated with assertive are things like um, professional, factual, evidence, data, that sort of thing. Yes? That's what I mean by assertive. Passive and aggressive are instinctive behaviors. I'm just going to move on to this. This um, transaction analysis is how we interact with others. How we interact with others. So we have, um, this goes back to Dr. Eric Byrne. Dr. Eric Byrne talked about um, we have three ways of being parent, adult, and child. When we behave like a child, other people, these are what he said, there's three ego states. You know, parent is not necessarily parent as being a parent of a child. It's parent type behavior. You have two types of, uh, of behavior. You have nurturing and uh, controlling. So controlling, telling people right and wrong. So when I behave like a parent, 
other people interact with me like a child. And a child is instinctive, natural, maybe manipulative. Someone when, you know, when I was a child, if I didn't get an ice cream, I stamped my foot to get it. It was manipulative. So what Byrne says is when we behave like a child, the other person tends to behave like a parent. When we behave like a parent, the other person behaves like a child. When we behave like adults, it's like being assertive. And what Byrne said is the best type of interaction with, human, with other human beings is adult to adult. Now, what's the relevance of this with motivation and goal setting? Well, I will tell you. <clears throat> Remember, I suggested before, you need to have, get, you need to get social support. With, you need to get support with your goal setting. So how you get goal, to, goal setting support and getting, getting yourself on track Rising yourself to those challenges, like you said, Jessalyn, you need to be a good communicator. You need to be, give people the facts and the evidence. Be factual. Don't get emotional. Get, get factual. And that way, you'll be more successful with your motivation and your, uh, and your goal setting. Any other questions, ladies and gents? Thank you, sir. Any other questions or comments? Did you all find that you gained something out of today's class? Yeah, we gained a lot. I gained a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, I, I, I gained a lot. Yeah. So thumbs up or wave. Yeah, thumbs I up. Gave... Good... <laughs> thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Professor Philip. You explained perfectly every point. I think all of us will learn a lot of things from you. Thank you. And the, the last thing I'd leave you with, ladies and gentlemen, is when... Um, uh, when uh, Andrea, is it, uh, is it Ada or Andrea? Who's going to send the slides out? Is it you, Ada? Mm, also, I can send me and uh, Andrea, not different. So whoever yes, sends out send. the slides, use these links because these, these, um, for these three talks, Stephen Dunaya, um, Amy Cuddy, and uh, Amanda Palmer, they're amazing, amazing uh, videos. They're very, very useful talks. And they will help you because I know at the beginning, a few of you said you want to keep, how do you know to keep motivated, to keep on track? And that was a question you were saying as well, um, Jessalyn, you were saying that as well. How do we keep on track when we get challenges? Look at these, look at these. I think the best one probably is, is Stephen because he talks about marginal gains, small step by step. When you go step by step, one step at a time, you can achieve huge, great things in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you for your attention and for your engagement. Because I know it takes something to be here for two hours. So well done. The time's gone very quickly for me. I hope it has for you. And I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Because I always believe in this last, I'll leave the last thing with you. Happy students learn. So when you're happy, you're going to learn. So when you enjoy yourselves, when you're happy with your goal setting, when you're happy with, your, with what you achieve, celebrate your successes. Jessalyn, all of you. Desmond, uh, Mehedi, Ali, celebrate your successes. Nicoletta, celebrate successes and enjoy yourselves. Do well with the college. They'll, they'll look after you if you look after them. Okay? This is a wonderful college to be part of. Thank you so much, Philip. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, you, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a nice Bye. day. Thank Bye. you. Bye -bye. Good luck to you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you.